What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. It's Bubba's Daily Update, and <clears throat> the markets can actually go down. But they struggle to stay down, and it's again, this is more of the buy-the-dip mentality. That's kind of what we're seeing. Markets were a little bit higher overnight, and uh, this morning, it, uh, after they opened, they were a little bit higher, and then all of a sudden, they decided that it was time to go lower, and they rushed them down, <clears throat> took the, the Dow down about 190, NASDAQ down about 80. S&P was down over 20, and all of a sudden they decided, you know, sometime later in the day, okay, that's enough, and we're going to run them back. Now, this is the typical action that we're going to see uh, as the markets decide whether or not they're going to turn over and go to the other, uh, go to the downside now. Now, you've got, you know, uh, you've had earnings out today. They were all good, but again, a lot of the stocks were, were ugly, even with good earnings. You had Walgreens that was higher. You had uh, Chipotle down about 50 bucks, about 15% today. Uh, Boeing had good earnings, but was lower. Just, I think you're at the point now where there's a lot of confusion and a lot of things going on that, that say we're probably ready for a little bit of a sell-off. Now, I don't think this is going to be the big one. Elizabeth, I'm coming. This is the big one. No, I don't think this is going to be the big one. I think this is going to be, I think we're going to get that 3% sell-off that we haven't had for, I think it was 243 days, but whatever it was, uh, the longest on time. I think we're going to, that record's going to stop in the next week or so. I think we'll see. 3%. Now, then what we do from there will be the, the, the key. And, and what we want to always look for is the markets go down. We want to see the following rally. Because you know there's going to be dip buyers. It's obvious to see now that dip buyers are coming in. Now, the VIX was up a little bit today. Uh, gave back quite a bit of its gains. It was still higher. Uh, the volume was much better today, uh, especially in the, in the futures. So we're seeing signs that we might see something happen here. But again, don't get too excited for whatever you do. Don't chase them down to the downside. Right? Again, always wait for your levels before you decide to get in or get out of the market. Don't try to chase them because what will happen is you'll sell them down when they're down 191 and they're all of a sudden they're down only 100 and you're figuring out what am I going to do. You've got a lot going on. Oil is in a total of a coma right now. It had a very little range today. Gold keeps hovering around that 1280 level. Uh, was down below it and above it and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the dollar, a little bit weaker, struggling at that 94 level. But I think as you look across the grain markets, soybeans closed below 977. It could be a little bit of a warning sign. You've had corn and wheat staying in their tight little ranges. They were higher this morning, up against the top end, sold off late in the day, down a little bit. The cattle markets were a little bit higher to a little lower. I think both should be sold, fat sand feeders and hogs just continue to be in a world of their own. I think those should be sold as well. But the real picture here, again, remains. We've got not much going on. There's not a lot of information out there. And you've still got people coming in for the dip. Now, a lot of this could change tomorrow, right? Tomorrow morning at 7.30 Central, 8, 9, 8.30 Eastern, you've got the ECB. Now, they will have an effect. I don't know which way it'll be. It's going to be because they're going to be talking about their monetary policy. So watch the euro currency tomorrow, and it's been trying to rally all week. So uh, don't be surprised. Now, again, I don't think they want it to rally, but it may just indeed do that. Watch very carefully. You had bonds that were under deep pressure. They came down to our first target just about. Our target was 150. They got the 150.14, and they came back a little bit. Interest rates 3% on the 30-year, almost 2.5% on the 10. Things to watch, okay? Interest rates are going higher. That we can see. But, of course, a little bit of a pullback. In rates, a little bit of a rally in bond futures would not be surprised. But overall, we still have quiet and not enough trade to really get excited about. So we'll continue to focus. But I do think, and I will put this on the record, I do think that there's a 3% sell-off coming in the next week or so, you know, in total. So we'll see how it plays from there. But again, there's not a lot to do. Let's not get too over-anxious here. Let's let the markets trade and tell, let the markets tell us what to do. That's really the, the, the key here is let the markets tell us what to do. And remember, if you want to help me out, highschoolinvesting.com, check out the site. But also remember my link, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's where you can go to uh, make a contribution if you'd like to help keep the high school program going. And of course, don't forget to get the Bubba Show every single day at 2 to 3 Eastern Time at LibertyTalk.fm. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same station. This is Bubba's Up Daily Update. We'll see you later. Thank you so much.